All right, I'm Ghost by Ghoul. What's up? I'm here to show you guys a uh, quick rundown on uh, Lapena Coast Hard Mode, which is needed for the Shiva Diamond Dust quest. Again, you know, I've got some overboosted weapons and whatnot. I have spent a little bit of money. Um, not a whale or anything, but uh, I like to spend some money on the game. Um, now, in this Crisis Dungeon here, uh, which is should be here permanently, so you can always go back to this. Uh, but all the enemies are weak to fire, so you can pretty much rely on fire and circle, stack circle and fire sigils. Uh, not you don't necessarily need the wind or the axe. It could help just for this one icy raven fight if you wanted it. Don't necessarily need it. I don't think I have any equipped. Um, no wind, no uh, one axe. I think that gives me a little bit of stats that axe too. So if you've got a materia with an axe or a materia that with, with wind that actually helps boost your character stats, why not throw it on there, right? Um, if it's going to be good for it, um, and otherwise, yeah, just bring a healer, bring some health, bring uh, a lot of fire, a lot of a lot of X, you should be good to go. Uh, X sigil breaker materia, derp a derp. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so I've done S plus in this before, but it's been a week. Um, the week just recycled, so I've got my Crisis Key Dungeons back. So I do kind of forget exactly which boss is where. Um, so I'm not doing it in any specific particular order. I'm just really hoping for S plus here, and uh, figured I'd give it a recording just in case. So if anybody was curious or was struggling on it, they could watch my run and maybe get some insight on what to do, or maybe even what not to do. Um, so yeah, here we go. Apparently there's a random battle here. The random battles are always going to end up in the same little areas. So... Oh, I'm accidentally on auto. I was grinding some key quests before this. You want to be in at least semi or manual for these because uh, you only have so many Crisis Dungeon Keys per week. Um, you only they only replenish three on every Sunday, and then I think you can spend up to 600 blue or red crystals, preferably blue, to uh, replenish your dungeon keys. Pretty sure both of these bridges break. This one maybe when you walk over it, or something like that. You can go around though, regardless. Um, doesn't really matter. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this is the bird if you're gonna fight this thing first they get harder and harder with each boss you beat so you really don't need the x or the wind sigil if you can just go to this guy first you could take him out i'd say maybe if he was like the last boss um then maybe x sigil breaker and wind would be a little more important but you, you probably don't need them unless they increase your character stats um more so than any other material you could equip there so this guy should die pretty quick Let's throw a staff in a frenzy stand. Get her a night bloom going. Um, fire fire Oss are just gonna do really good. The effort weapon. Uh, you took advantage of the effort co op part, so you should have at least one of these. Come on, one more in. Nice. We beat him to the punch. He almost had his attack out. Um, are all three of my people magic? All three of my people are magic, so I'm not really gonna <laughs> lose much by losing physical attack. We're gonna get some higher magic deck in here. Let's go. Now, I know you could have went east and uh, took a different alternate boss for the first, but I figured the, uh, the condor's not a big deal to take out first. May as well. Alright, now these kind of bosses, I know these guys from the, uh, the Shiva fight. And they can be really annoying. You want you want to leave one of the ice bombs for a last. Unless you can just kill them all quickly like I just did. But Okay, he's going to do heavy damage here. Hopefully he doesn't kill anyone. 
All right, that's all. That's all right. I'm gonna try to get a heal off before I kill him. There we go. We got it. And now let's take him out before he gets another jump. Hopefully. No, that's not happening. Oh, it happened. Really thought he was gonna get that jump off. Nice. Those guys can be real annoying. Uh, both of those enemies. The bombs can be pretty annoying, and those uh, Sahagen prints. Sahagen. Sahagen. All right. Um, don't need that. Give more magic. Let's go. I'm an all magic team. So if you're if you realize you're all physical or all, you're all magic, don't be afraid to drop whatever you're not using. You know. All right. See here. This is the in, uh, intro way, right? The entrance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like to double check. I trace my uh, path back. You don't want to miss anything, and you're not going to get any in any more random battles than what you have to. There's only so many placed uh, to prevent you from being able to like increase your limit gauges, increase your ATB gauges. They're all placed kind of strategically on the board uh, for you to either take advantage of or possibly die to. Hopefully not. We're going for the Ice Dragon. Like I said, they're all weak to fire. This one should be um, pretty straightforward. I just need to do it for the Chiba quest, so I figured I'd record it. Uh, fire Breach. And this. Let's give him a Night Bloom. Let's give him one of these. Uh, you, I might break him just give, doing fire and the other guys in the circle. Um, maybe I should heal too. I'm gonna throw this in, but I'm not gonna use my other ones. Just to get that little bit of health back for Aerith and a little bit for Zack there. Alright, and now let's take him out. Use all my ATB on kill him. Sweet! more magic attack man it's giving me tons we're gonna get through this real quick all right over here over here all right so this is where my uh, fire aga a or fire aga all is gonna come into a uh, good effect and if you have if it's hellfire even better uh, I don't yet I'm gonna be getting that right after this um, I've got all the nodes already in place I think all these guys are gonna die before they get the first bazaar again. Hopefully, if I can get this Tyraga off. No, I didn't. Or die. She almost died. That would have been rough. Okay. Heal. Heal before they die. Nice. Okay. Alright. Fire. Uh, get some of her um, limit gauge back. Alright, uh, yeah, again for this one, guys, just it's pretty straightforward. I think you don't even need overboosted weapons. You could beat this um, free to play uh, and get S. Plus. Just make sure to have all your best fire um, and X materia equipped. If you fail to get S, plus going through this, um, just know that you probably got to work on your equipment and your materia. Um, so, let's see here. I want that, I want this. If I look at my trance abilities now, magic attack up 30, fizz minus 20, fire potential up 20, we're balling. Um, there's a chest there, there was a rare chest there. I think there might have been a cactar or something up here. I'm not certain, I forget. Yeah, don't, don't forget to uh, grab all the rare chests too. Uh oh. Do not burst, do not burst! Okay, I thought they were gonna burst. That would not have been fun. Um, and again, in these uh, Crisis Dungeons, just like the recent Maka Reactor 1 event, um, you get more score the less items you use. I think there's a character up here. I think. No? Okay. Maybe that was just the Criterion Dungeon. But, uh, let's see. You can always look at there for your items, that for your, um, 
trance abilities active. Uh, let's see here. So I've got one more boss left. It says I got both rare chests, so you can check that here whenever you need to in these. You want to make sure to get them all, uh, since you only have limited runs of these per week. You got to make the best of your runs. Uh, definitely make sure to look at the weakness of weaknesses of all the bosses before entering these crisis dungeons, because you don't want to waste your keys. And uh, make sure you set an optimal team before you even enter. And again, if you don't get S+, plus, just kind of work off of what you got. Uh, uh, let's say you had a level 70 weapon, don't try it again until you make that same weapon level 80. Or you have a, um, a materia that's not all the way to 5, uh, five stars. I mean, materia that's not all the way to level 5, or materia that's not all the way to level 10. Uh, maybe level it up before you come back in here. But anyways, I'm going to go in this with no items because I probably can. If you need to, you might want to use a fire cocktail on whoever your best fire user is, whoever your best... Uh, single individual fire hit or user is so for me that would be Zack here between the three um, with his individual fire sword I wouldn't use it on there's no point in using it on Sephiroth when uh, this boss is just a one bo one boss symbol enemy um, Galen Blar or as Glenn like to, likes to call him a stamp here um, let's see uh, you got you get no tents here I mean, yeah, supplements are pretty important you might want to just use like one supplement uh, I'm not going to, and then just heal in battle or something like that. Uh, but yeah. Alright, here we go. He's going to be the toughest guy, but he's not going to be too bad for me. He's going to start off with a rush, so hopefully he doesn't kill me. You're going to want to switch to defense mode immediately. So skip. Yeah, they always do that. Whenever you go into these battles, make sure to do that. Um, and we hit him with a fire breach here and a night bloom. Okay, cool. Uh, before we get this off, let's get all these in. These would do more damage if he was in the staggered state, or in other words, when uh, the screen goes a little white and flashy. And, uh, there's a term for it, I forget. I keep using the uh, staggered terminology from other Final Fantasy games. Oh, he almost died. Maybe we can get him before he does Thunderfall. Thunderfall is a hard hit and move. You don't really want to get hit by that. So, all right. I definitely have plus this. If I didn't, I'll be really surprised and uh, a little unhappy. <laughs> so you don't have to use another Crisis Dungeon key on these uh, if you don't have to. Uh, so let's see here. Hopefully that's us plus. Okay. On baby, S plus, let's go. S plus, that's what's up. That's what I needed. All right, I should get this little thing here. Yeah, for diamond dust. All right, so that's how to S plus uh, Lapena Coast on hard mode in the regular Crisis Dungeon. Um, the reason I was doing that and just decided to record it for YouTube here is because. Uh, I need to do it as my final Shiva Diamond Dust quest, and I couldn't do it until this Sunday because I used all my keys. That's why your keys are so important, guys. That's this one right here. Clear Crisis Dungeon Lapena Coast. Hard with S rank. Uh, S plus. Obtain. Now get the she Shiva Diamond Dust. Beautiful. Now I can go up. I think I needed exactly 570 nodes, so I grinded the Shiva quests to make sure I had enough uh, for this. Alright, diamond dust, diamond dusting it up. Okay. I think we have one more day left for the uh, Maca Reactor 1 event, so I'm going to go back and get a better score. I can do the Reno route now. I think I'm going to record that for YouTube too. So this is the first one I'm recording. Um, but now that I got all the diamond stuff, uh, diamond dust stuff, that's at max, I can switch over to Ifrit, and I gotta do the same darn thing for Hellfire. So if I come down here, Hellfire requires clear crisis dungeon macro reactor 1, harder with S rank plus. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to end this recording and start a new one and make one other video for this one here. Here we go.